When I visit your organization, I know we'll have a fun time, but I'm not there just to entertain. I help people see possibilities that lie within each and every one of us. You know, I created this little thing called FISH. It's about being there, playing, choosing your attitude and making someone's day. They're all fun concepts, but they're also a language that describes the way people interact when they live in a healthy and positive culture. Hello everyone. <laughs> I am John. I'm the fish guy. And guess what? I am not colorblind. <laughs> I really choose these colors every day. Actually, there's I love what I do. And I enjoy being around people who are passionate about what they do. Fish helps create environments where people can love the work they do. What I love is play, encouraging our, our child likeness. What do you think, the socks, huh? <laughs> John Christensen, leader of Chart House Learning and the creator of the Fish Philosophy, invites you to join the inspired. John has co-authored four books on the Fish Philosophy that have sold over five million copies, being distributed in 50 countries worldwide and translated into 36 languages. Organizations everywhere embrace fish using John's innovative ideas to transform their internal culture. John Christensen brings the fish philosophy and all of its benefits directly into your organization. Right now, it's more important than ever to inspire and encourage the people we work with and reinforce the resources that already exist in our organizations. We all want to bring out the best in each other. We want to bring out the best in our creativity, in our cooperation. And we can do this by using a language that describes a positive culture. And that's what FISH does. Just to get the enthusiasm going. These are just reminders. You know, even our little Pete here. That's just a reminder, a playful reminder of saying, lighten up. You know, be childlike. It's about nurturing people's question. spirit and allowing and encouraging them to grow at work. So here's the fish guys. You know, when I first saw them, I was really engaged with this fun. You know, I was drawn to it. I was, I kept on going up to it, getting closer to the laughter and going, wow, wow, how can I get a piece of this? How, this is incredible. They're having so much fun. And it was like an epiphany. Ah, the light came down, you know. It was like, wow, look at this. Look at this, these guys have something. That's what FISH does. See, it gives us a positive language to describe a nurturing culture. So there's the screaming and yelling part that goes on. They're throwing these fish, they're throwing 20 pound fish over people's heads. They're yelling and screaming. One guy gives, gives customers big bear hugs. His name happens to be Bear. But there's one little incident that happened that really culminated everything for me. And this instant happens to be one of the fishmongers, they, they have a barrel of live crayfish or crawdads. So one of the fishmongers takes this crawdad out, live crawdad, walks up to a little boy and tries to attach it to the little boy's coat. <laughs> the little boy screams, bloody murder. I mean, ah! Grabs his mom's leg. The fishmonger notices this, takes the crawdad back, puts it in the bucket, gets down on his hands and knees, looks the little boy in the eye and says, I am so sorry I scared you. Can I have a hug? And proceeds to hug. <laughs> proceeds to hug the little boy. You take away the negativity now, well, Monday, and you talk about positive things and good things are going to happen. The fish practices, be there, play, make their day and choose your attitude are themselves a language that reinforces a positive culture. We've seen this happen countless times. Hospitals have done this. Prison guards have adopted these practices. Schools have helped children to blossom by creating environments without fear. What kind of attitude do we want in this place? You can help. You are the co-creators of this. You're the HR department of this whole institute. You get to help find these people, hire these people, develop these people. And it starts with ourselves. Who are you being while you're doing what you're doing? Who are you being as a leader? Are you being a person who helps create a culture that's positive, that helps people grow? Listen for what is being said. Truly be present to the moment. We know a hospital whose patient satisfaction numbers increased by 60% when fish became part of their values. Now that's a return on investment. It's up to you to be a leader who's positive, who builds an environment that helps people be the best that they can be, to help them grow, 
and Fish starts that dialogue. The other thing is that Fish is a living invitation. You become the leader. You become the living invitation to this. Fish is a spark that helps you ignite the fire in your organization. It helps you build a better workplace, to be there for each other, to get more done, and enjoy work more. Now that's what Fish is all about. To invite Fish into your organization, book John today.